When you load up Ableton Live, you'll be presented with the session view. This is a great way to use Ableton Live for DJing in a live context, but for making mixes offline, the Arranger view is more useful. To switch to the Arranger view, press Tab or click the Arrangement View Selector button in the top right hand corner. The Arrangement view will be familiar to you if you've used practically any door software before. Tracks are stacked vertically down the page and the playhead moves from the left to the right as the tracks play back. Drag Push It Higher MP3 onto the Arrangement view. By default, Live automatically warps longer tracks, though the chances are it won't have got the warping perfectly right straight off the bat. Click on the Push It Higher clip and its settings will appear in the panel at the bottom of the interface. We can see from the yellowy green warp markers all over the waveform and the fact that the warp button is illuminated that Live has indeed warped the track already. Live will automatically time stretch the clips to fit the project tempo. Turn the project tempo up to 130 BPM so it's closer to the original tempo of the music we're using by dragging on the tempo parameter in the top left hand corner of the display. Click the metronome button to the right of the tempo setting so that it's illuminated. This helps us work out if Live has warped the track correctly or not. Play the project back by pressing space or clicking the play button. We can hear that the track is playing back at the correct speed, but Live hasn't detected the first downbeat of the track correctly. As such, the higher metronome note that indicates the first beat of the bar is out of sync with the track. Let's fix this now. Drag above the waveform display in the sample editor to zoom in on the start of the track. You'll see that the beat 1 marker is actually above the second beat. Drag your cursor over the small grey triangle known as the transient marker above the first beat, right click and select set 1.1.1 .1 here. Now when you play the project back, the beats and the metronome are in sync. Turn the metronome off again. You may notice that the quality of the audio isn't perfect. This is because of the time stretching that Live performs on the track. We can remedy this by clicking the warp mode currently set to beats and changing it to re-pitch mode instead. You'll notice that this has the side effect of increasing the pitch of the track, which is now being resampled rather than time stretched. Thank <laughs> you.